Hi, I'm Sharon Fay with LimeStream Technologies. LimeStream develops advanced controls that are easy to use. I'm here today to discuss how to make the most out of your motor controls. We're going to talk about three things. We'll start by exploring advanced control techniques. Then we'll talk about how advanced control techniques can be simplified. We'll wrap it up by discussing ways to optimize motion control. PI controllers have been around since the 1920s and are the de facto industry standard. PI controllers, if tuned properly, can perform really well, but that's a big if. Tuning a PI controller is challenging. Designers have to understand and account for all of the variances in the system and tune for these conditions. PI controllers typically require multiple tuning parameters to perform well over the entire operating range. Let's look at an example. This is a video of a treadmill application. Its speed range is 42 RPM to 3300 RPM, and the load can vary significantly from less than 100 pounds to several hundred pounds. This machine was well tuned for higher speed and load ranges, but the designers were having trouble controlling the system at low speed. Let's take a look. Active Disturbance Rejection Control is an advanced algorithm that can replace PI control. This controller accommodates for a high degree of model uncertainties. It has an extended state observer that accurately estimates system disturbances. Error resulting from unmodeled system dynamics and disturbances are estimated and compensated. This makes this controller very robust against system variations. We can compare these controllers using a disturbance rejection test. We used PI and ADRC to control the same motor. We ran the motor at 50% of the rated speed and torque. We introduced a pulse disturbance through a dynamometer and measured the response. We found that PI had a greater error and a longer settling time, not only for this test, but for most of the tests we conducted. Let's look at ADRC in action controlling the treadmill. The engineer is trying to stop the belt. Even when the belt stops, we can see that the rollers are still turning. The ADRC controller uses system inertia as an input. Inertia is the resistance of an object to rotational acceleration, anything that is rigidly coupled with the motor shaft. For example, the drum of a washing machine. The controller uses this inertia to determine how strongly to respond to disturbances. Sometimes we run into situations where the system inertia is changing over time. This is the case with applications like industrial winders. The diagram compares the performance of ADRC with a range of wrong inertia settings. This was tested by applying the torque disturbance to a motor system. The inertia value provided to the ADRC controller was set to different values to highlight the range of inertia error that can be tolerated by the controller. This shows that the controller can tolerate an inertia mismatch of up to eight times. The best performance is realized when the inertia value is a match with the application but if the inertia of the system changes, the controller will remain stable. We've seen the performance characteristics of the ADRC controller, but to be truly useful, it has to be simple. This is my wish list. I want to automatically identify motor parameters, automatically tune the current, automatically identify system inertia, and have a single parameter tuning that's effective across the entire operating range. TI has done this. They've combined the advanced control of ADRC with these ease of use characteristics, and the total package is called InstaSpin Motion. In addition, this solution has a software encoder that's the best that we've seen, but it can also run with a physical encoder for position control applications. Some sensorless motor control applications rely on a motor model. This motor model requires knowledge of certain motor parameters in order to have an accurate representation of the motor. Other algorithms in the marketplace require an intensive tuning process up front even before running the motor in closed loop. InstaSpin measures and keeps track of motor parameters, 
eliminating the need for a known motor model. Although identifying the motor is not a must for all applications, it provides an easy and better out-of-the-box experience to run any given motor sensorlessly. The result of this process is the identified motor parameters and automatically tuned current loop. The next step is to identify the system inertia. We've got to make sure that the motor is connected to anything that will spin with it during operation. In the washing machine, that's the drum. This process is typically done once at design time and is completed in less than a minute. Tuning is accomplished with a single tuning parameter called bandwidth. Bandwidth allows us to adjust the controller from soft to stiff response. This graph shows that as the bandwidth is increased, the controller response becomes stiffer. This single parameter can control both position and speed, and it works over the entire operating range. So now that the ease of use wish list is satisfied, let's talk about optimizing motion. Jerk is the rate of change of acceleration. Jerk is important to consider in applications where fragile objects could be damaged. This includes elevators, conveyor belts, cutting tools. Applications that don't need transition speeds as fast as possible can benefit from smaller jerk. We see from the graph that as we decrease the jerk of the system, we obtain smoother transitions. In most applications, we've got to find a way to transition from one speed or position to the next. The motion engine allows you to enter the acceleration and jerk, and then it automatically generates the best trajectory to satisfy the user-entered jerk and acceleration constraints for each move. These constraints will be applied to the curve type selected by the user, either trapezoidal, S-curve, or the ST-curve featuring continuous jerk. For simple motion systems, we may want to transition from one speed or position to another, but complex motion systems like those that we see in CNC machines, 3D printers, etc., require a series of motion sequences. InstaSpin Motion allows you to build application motion sequences without constructing a complex, finite state machine. This figure displays the motion sequence for a washing machine. This supports conditional transitions, external interfacing variables, and its runtime configurable. What this means is, that it allows transitions from one state to many states. It controls external actuators and reads in sensors, and it can configure the motion sequence without recompiling the project. Motor control can be a difficult thing to master for any designer. ADRC optimizes motor efficiency, performance, and reliability. InstaSpin Motion simplifies and speeds up both motor control development and advanced motion control. InstaSpin Motion is available now for speed and torque control. The evaluation tools for InstaSpin Motion are available now, and position control software projects will be available in the November 2013 timeframe.